I'm here on the sixth floor of the Hesburgh Library in the University Archives. And the University Archives preserves the and stewards the most important holdings from the university's history, including the collections of the late Reverend Theodore Hesburgh. And we have Angela Fritz, the head of the University Archives, and Charles Lamb. He's the senior archivist for Photographs and AV with us today. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. They're here to tell us about the Hesburgh Portal, which is a new website that provides online global access to these historic collections. And Angela, before we get to talking specifically about that, um, can you tell us a little bit about the mission and the holdings of the University Archives? Sure, Jen, and welcome to the University Archives. The archives serve as an important component to the specialized holdings of Hesburgh Libraries, and also serves as a cornerstone to explore the history of the university since its founding in 1842. With over 47,000 linear feet of material, the archives serve as the institutional memory for the university, and our collections provide the larger research community with a historical lens to explore the evolution of Notre Dame, its place in higher education, and its place in history. History. And can you tell us a little bit more about the significance of this collection? Absolutely. The signif significance of Father Hesburgh's collection and the Hesburgh portal is that it focuses on a unique chapter in Notre Dame history, the life and legacy of Father Theodore Hesburgh. The portal assembles the sights and sounds and writings of Father Hesburgh around an interactive storyline that engages visitors with digitized materials from his collection. Charles has actually pulled some physical artifacts from Hesburgh's collection to show us today. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I pulled out three photographs first. The first one is the family portrait of, father, of, the, of a young Father Hesburg, along with two of his sisters and, and his mother. The second photo is the iconic photograph of the 1964 Civil Rights Rally in Chicago, where Father Hesburgh appeared with Martin Luther King, Jr. The third is a, a photo of Father Hesburgh on campus with three students who were involved in student government. Um, I also have three AV items here. First is a, is a record album of a 1953 speech that Father Hesper gave at a fundraising dinner in New York. The second is the 1987 commencement. And the third is a film of Father Hesper fishing on, on vacation with friends. And Charles, now I understand that people around the world can see this online. Exactly. Um, if, if you go to the, the portal, you'll see that the web page starts with uh, chapters. There are six different chapters from uh, early years to um, civil rights era, and then under the chapters there are stories, such as the Civil Rights Rally of 1964. Under the, under the stories, there's text first based upon archival research and augmented with photos and graphics to help tell the, the story. Each story also has a photo gallery with relevant photos to the topic of, of the story, <clears throat> and there's also a document gallery, which has documents from correspondence to speeches to telegrams. And then <clears throat> there's also a media gallery which shows um, media pieces associated with Father Hesburgh and his life and legacy. And the last element is uh, Father Hesburgh's speeches. They can, there's a page where they can be searched full text and they can be read. So that's a short view of the, the portal. Very cool. I can't wait to check it out myself. And Angela, why is this just such an exciting, exciting experience for the university? The Hesburgh portal is exciting because it not only showcases the impact that Father Hesburgh had on the university, but also showcases his influence on social policies on both the national and international contexts. But probably most importantly, the Hesburgh portal showcases the personal connections of Father Hesburgh, as he touched so many people in compassionate and important ways throughout his life. The ability to be able to share Father Hesburgh's legacy with people from around the world is exciting, and the portal also represents the future work that Hesburgh Libraries and the Archives will be doing. Thank you, Angela and Charles, so much for joining us.